the Napleton Sports Desk with sports director Scott Leber. It's critical in any sport to be peaking at the right time. The Lena Winslow football team seems to be doing just that. The Panthers were strong during the regular season, but they've been amazing the first three weeks in the playoffs. They've outscored Aurora Christian, Forreston, and Fulton by an average score of 49 to 14. Coach Rick Aaron says the Panthers have set the bar high, and they have the senior leadership to try to reach it. We've been pretty tough on them. Uh, I don't think we've ever been tougher on a group in terms of practice expectations um, in the playoffs than we have this group. And, you know, they really responded, you know, the first three weeks of the playoffs. And, uh, you know, here we sit. We're in a good rhythm right now. Obviously, we beat two good teams before these guys, three good teams. And, I mean, we just got to keep the momentum going. For each game, we're building on get better. It's improving and feeling that rhythm. But we just got to focus on Colfax. And you know, we know they're a solid team, so we got to bring it. Yeah, it's the Colfax co-op of Ridgeview Lexington on deck this Saturday in the 1A semifinals. This is them in the blue. The Mustangs are 8-4. and four. They're champions of the Heart of Illinois Small Conference. They've also blown out their three playoff opponents, Rushville, Peru St. Bede, and Abingdon Avon. They have an all-state running back in Caden Farrell and an all-state linebacker in Evan Antonio. And the Mustangs have beef on the lines. They're going to resemble a bigger version, larger version up front of Fulton. They're going to try to do a lot of things on offense, a lot of formations. Um, they've got some. They got a, a real one, really, really good running back uh, who was a who was the only junior on the All-State team. And we've definitely have our work cut out for us, uh, but you know something that we're going to embrace. That's a two o'clock kickoff Saturday in Lena. Well, Byron will also take the field for semifinal action Saturday in Class 3A against IC Catholic. I'll preview that one tomorrow night.